Overnight, we sailed from Holland to Belgium, and today we get to explore one of my favourite cities. This is Bruges, and it's considered to be one of the most beautiful in the world, and certainly one of the best examples of a preserved medieval city in all of Europe. Smaller and more contained than many other old Flemish cities, Bruges gives the impression that you've stepped back in time. It had the good fortune to be linked with the sea by a navigatable waterway, and in the 13th century, the town established Europe's first stock exchange. Bruges' early textile trade made it one of the wealthiest trading towns in the world, and for a long period, the world's most important port. One of life's greatest pleasures is meandering the cobblestone streets of this quaint town, housed within these buildings, are some of the great artworks of the world. It really is a beautiful place. The market square in the shadow of the majestic Belfry Tower was the scene of medieval festivals, fairs, tournaments, uprisings, and even public executions. Today, the square serves as a meeting place for the 120,000 locals and three to four million visitors who visit Bruges each year. Bruges' oldest parish church, St. Saviour's Cathedral, was built between the 12th and 15th centuries. It has amongst its treasures a roof loft with an organ, medieval tombs, Brussels tapestries, and a rich collection of Flemish paintings from the 14th to the 18th century. Looking for that Insta moment, being one of the most photographed sites throughout the city of Bruges, the key of the Rosary is one of the most beautiful sites in this Belgium city. When it comes to food and drink, Belgium is famous for two things. Make sure you check out the famous Belgium beer wall, one of the favorite drinking holes for visitors, and research has discovered that every beer needs to be drunk with a unique glass for optimal flavor appreciation. The display cabinets show all 1,000 different beers and glasses. And last but not least, make sure you check this place out. It is the Lake of Love, and it's a sensational location. It was once the water source for the town, but today it's been the base for many movies, TV series, some pretty romantic proposals as well. 